down at the workshop today, this morning, if you remember in yesterday's video, made this here, which is the lower part of the card holder. In the machine right now is the upper part of it. I've, I think we've done about two, yeah, two millimeters cut down so far, so another 10 millimeters to go. So that's, uh, it's all set up in the machine. I left it yesterday and so we can just come in, switch the machine on, click run, and we should just be able to start milling right away. So that is the pocket in the upper part of the titanium card holder fully milled out. Truthfully, it's a little bit rough, like I wrung my finger along it, it's not nice and smooth. I wasn't aiming for that. Right now I'm just trying to learn the machine and like get something done, sort of learn as I go. But it's done. What I need to do now is go around the outside. I've done, because it's like a water jet cut blank, which I can show you one here got another one cut another one of these blanks just you know uh, a few minutes ago while this machine was running and so this is what the edge of it looks like really really rough so what i do with these blanks for for the two i've done so far and for this one is i add 0.5 of a millimeter additional material all around when i cut it and that 0.5 gets cut off i could probably do 0.25 i think or even less but you know it'll be good enough for now so this is just a practice on because I want to practice the beveling on this before I actually do it on that. I've not done it before, so I want to set it up, make sure it's good, and then practice on that one. Ah, practice on this one, then do the real one on that one. What I need to do now is, is go around the outside now and, and take the additional material off that blank that's in there just now. So I started cutting around the frame there and I screwed it up. Basically I was running the wrong program uh, or the wrong settings in the program, should I say. So it's going now, should be okay. And yeah, it's, it's six mil down now. I've got one more down, I'm doing seven mil down. Then I'm gonna flip it over and do seven mil down on the other side. And I don't know if this makes sense, but that will be the sides completely machined away and not have that ugly sort of water jet look that I showed you earlier on this thing. This is it fitting together. It's a really, really sort of snug fit. Still pretty rough. It looks like a giant titanium sandwich. <laughs> this is weird. Um, so, got the skim, got the skim up here, skim down there at the bottom. That'll be the sides completely skimmed. And then after that, it's pretty much just beveling after that and then maybe a little bit of engraving a little bit little handle thing on the side definitely not going to get finished today so this is going to be part two of this video and there will be a part three for sure So what I've got in the mill now is the plate, one of the card holder plates, upside down. I, you know, I touch probed it to make it centered and then started milling around the edge. 
and it was it was off on the x-axis it was like not skimming on one side it came along and was just about to start skimming on the other side and it was like really digging in um so i've just touch probed it again i'm gonna see see if it works this time maybe i made a mistake or something because it should be accurate it shouldn't be off by like half a mil that case there going around the outside having to flip it over touch probe it go around the outside again it's inevitably leaving oh i'm kind of shadowy here it's inevitably leaving like steps which is fine i can i can sand those out it's part of the learning process i think and you know i might be able to sort of salvage this i expect to sort of sand it around the outside before i tumble it but there is a chance that the steps are too big and I can't sort of fix it and I skim away and skim away and skim away to get it until there's, there's nothing left. So this is part two of it. There will be a part three for sure. I will leave you with a quote. It is by Seneca and he said, Be silent as to the services you have rendered, but speak of the favours you have received.